In this video, I'm going to reveal to you the average retirement savings of someone your exact age, and also if you're ahead or behind. Coming up next on Holy Schmidt. Holy Schmidt! Hey, if you've ever wondered where you stand compared to the average person in the United States as it relates to your retirement savings, you've come to the right place. Stick around to the end because I'm going to show you four different jobs you can do in retirement that take less than 20 hours a week and pay really well. Let me begin by saying that no matter how old you are, there's always a way to get better prepared for retirement. It doesn't matter if you're 21 or 67. There are things that you can do right now that will help you in the future. Here on Holy Schmidt, I show you dozens of tips and tricks to help you out of the hole. But right now, let's get into the reason that you came. On the board, you will see statistics on the left and on the right. On the left, I'm gonna start off by telling you that compared to a lot of people, you are actually probably in really good shape. For example, 29% of those 65 years or older have absolutely nothing when it comes to retirement. Zero, nothing saved, no more than a few dollars in their checking account. 41 million out of 128 million working adults also have nothing. So 31% of the working population out there has no plans and no money saved for retirement. And finally, 46% of those who pass away die with less than $10,000 in their savings account. Those are staggering statistics, and they point to the fact that people historically have not been prepared for what comes next. Retirement seems to be this thing that nobody thinks about until it's too late. Fortunately for you, you're watching this video right now, which means that you're not one of them. You are someone who's thinking about your future. What this data shows is that no matter how ahead or behind you think you are, one thing is for sure, you are ahead of a really large portion of retiring or retired Americans. However, for those that do save, here are the statistics according to the Center for Retirement Research. Those aged 35 to 44 have $40,000 on average in their account. Now this number is actually down from 2013. These are 2016 numbers, by the way, but that's actually down from 2013. 35 to 44 year olds had 48,000. So that's actually come down about 20%. Those 45 to 54 years old have 97,000 saved. And that's actually down again. In 2013, the 45 to 54 year olds had over $100,000 or had $800,000. And those 55 to 64 are up. Their average retirement savings is 135,000 versus the 55 to 64 year olds of 2013 that have 111,000. Now, this information is useful only for benchmarking purposes because to be frank, even if you're ahead of the pack, if you're still behind from where you want to be, then you have some, some work to do. So that's the data, and it's pretty stark, particularly if you plan on living a long time in retirement, because Social Security just doesn't cut it these days, and as you know, it's not getting any better. Now, what can you do about that? Well, coming up next, we have four career opportunities for you post-retirement that you can engage in for 20 hours a week or less, and let me just get right into those. In the lower left-hand corner, I have seasonal work. Now, seasonal work represents, in my case, uh, if I were to retire, I could do taxes because I'm a CPA. But, and in fact, to be, to be completely frank, you don't need a CPA to do taxes. You just need to go through a tax course, and you can do that in December and be ready to rock and roll from January 1st through April 15th. A little preparation, but you can do the average person's taxes with about a six-week course. And that pays very, very well. And it's part, it's seasonal. It's, it's four months out of your 12 month year. The next one is project related work. And this, these are individual projects that people put on a site called upwork.com. If you go to upwork.com, you'll find a lot of opportunities to do project by project related pay, paid jobs versus something that's a little bit more permanent, but it allows you to flex up and down in terms of your schedule while you're in retirement. Number three is consulting. Whatever you did in the past has value. In fact, you were an expert and probably still are in what you did. And there are a lot of people that are willing to pay for that. You just need to make sure that your network is in place. So make sure you talk to your old colleagues in business. 
you join the Rotary Club, and you find other ways to stay connected with those that might need what you have to sell. And last but not least is special circumstances. Now my favorite of all time, one that I would love to do, is dog walking. Dog walking to me sounds like the perfect retirement job. Now I love dogs, I have two, and truth be told, if someone said to me when I was in retirement, I will pay you X number of dollars per week to walk my dogs, it almost wouldn't, it wouldn't matter what that number was, but the, the reality is people care about their dogs the way that they care about their children, and they'll pay a really reasonable uh, amount of money for you to do that particular job. Multiply that times not one, but three or five or 10 dogs per day, and all of a sudden you've got a real business on your hands. And once you get going on something like that, people have a tendency to refer each other to you. And so all you need to do is do a great job and sit back and wait for things to happen. Now that's my list. If you have a list that you would like to add, please put it in the comments section below so that others can gain from your knowledge. Hi gang, Jeff Schmidt. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like the video, please hit subscribe below and give it a thumbs up so that other people can find it as well. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notified every time I release another video. Also, don't forget to click this video right here, which talks about Social Security wage base and what you'll be paying into the future in your Social Security tax.